This is an RGB gaming mouse and I think this mouse is ideal for those of you that want a cheap gaming mouse without having to go all out on other gaming mouses out there. This mouse is currently for under $20 and while the price might shock you a bit, this mouse actually performs pretty good considering how cheap it is. When I first got this mouse, I thought the response time was going to be really slow because that was the case with other cheap mouses that I've tested in the past, but surprisingly I was wrong. The response time is actually pretty good. I didn't experience any single delay when using it for video editing or playing games with it. And keep in mind that I'm coming from the Logitech MX Master, which in my opinion, it is the best mouse that I've ever owned. You guys probably already know this mouse as the best tech YouTubers mouse. Now one thing that definitely disappointed me the most about this mouse is the fact that it is very cheap. The plastic that you get with this mouse just feels way too cheap. In fact, one of the buttons that you get right on top where your thumb rests got stuck while pressing it and unfortunately I can't get it to click back, which is a bummer. I'm not too sure if I got a defect unit or this is just how they are, but whatever the case is, when it comes to the bell quality, it isn't the best. But I guess for the price, you are sacrificing what you are getting. On top of the mouse, you'll find the mouse scrolling wheel and next to that is a CPI button and it can be adjustable. And lastly, on the side where your thumb rests, you have two buttons. One is for your macros and the other one is for the key bins. Not to mention, the buttons also feel a bit cheap. They are pretty clicky and they also have a nice sound click to them. And like I previously mentioned, my main mouse is the Logitech MX Master and that mouse is really comfortable and which is ideal when it comes to using that mouse for a really long time without your hand getting any type of discomfort. And when I tried this gaming mouse, I did obviously tell the difference. Not to say this mouse is uncomfortable or anything like that, but your thumb does not rest as nice as it does on the Logitech MX Master. The Logitech MX Master to me just has an overall better design and it also gives you a better grip for your palm and thumb. This gaming mouse does not have any rubber padding like the Logitech does and it is made entirely out of plastic and maybe if they would add some sort of rubber on the side where your thumb rests, that would have probably made the mouse much more comfortable because the plastic just feels a bit slippery when moving the mouse and you don't get that nice grip like you do on other mouses. Now, one of my favorite things about this gaming mouse is, you guessed it, the RGB lighting, which looks really nice when you are using the mouse in low light conditions. Having an LED keyboard and also this gaming mouse will complement your setup really well like you see here with mine. And overall, if you guys need a decent gaming mouse for your setup without spending hundreds of dollars, then you guys should definitely try this mouse. Obviously, it's not perfect like I mentioned, it has a very poor build quality. But other than that, when it comes to performance and ease of use and also the looks, it won't disappoint you. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like. Also comment down below if you guys have any feedback. Share this video with all your friends. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace!